Well, hello there. This is Dom from Diamond Shine. So, guys, I'm excited to see you today. Today in the studio, we're going to be making some bath salts, guys. It's going to be a really quick video for those people in the Patreon that says, Diamond, can you make a video? I got you. All right. So, this is going to be really quick, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go from start to finish with you. I mean, I'm going to go from um, the bag to the label, everything. I'm going to do it for you real quick. All right, so listen, the whole recipe will be found in my Patreon, guys. If you have not got to that Patreon yet, look, click on that link in the description box. You will not be disappointed, okay? Listen, the Patreon got candle making recipes, skincare recipes. There's so much in there. If you're not in that Patreon, you crazy, all right? All right, so let me get right into it. So listen, the fall is here, guys. Wintertime is coming. When the wintertime comes, I usually get a lot of customers when I was like selling my things all the time. Um, that was like into bath salts and stuff like that. So I was making bath salts a lot um, in one particular winter. And it was I was selling it to guys. I was selling it to women. I was just very surprised to have like guy customers. Um, but hey, you know, you get them. And so I put like a, um, a milk bath salt tea. And I want to put another bath salt in there for you guys. Even though I do have like a foam in um bath salt but it's some people that don't want to do it that way so i just want to give you guys a few options okay all right so this is going to be really quick and really simple um and these will sell okay and and, and one thing i want to let you guys know if your things are not selling always make sure your labels are on point like a decimal okay you got to make sure that they're on point all right so let's go ahead and get right into it so here i have some epsom salt we call it epsom soak epsom salt um, that's really important when it comes down to like bath salts because these are really good for aches and pains. Um, they soothe sore muscles and also tired feet. Okay, so it's just like a, in a crystal form. Uh, you can get Epsom salts from anywhere. You can get them from like your local um, Rite Aid or you can get them um, from Dollar Tree. Wherever you want to get them from, Epsom salts is really, I mean, to be honest with you, is no special salt when it comes down to salt is like where you get it from did you get it from the red sea or did you get it from tiberius sea where you get them from where you get them salts from so anyway <laughs> salt is salt if you ask me all right it's gonna come from here or there dead we gonna get it from the dead sea uh all right come on all right so let's go ahead and put our next ingredient and the next ingredient we're gonna put in here is we're gonna put a little bit of sea salt in here as well okay so that adds to it um, that means it's just basically like two different types of salt inside of this mix, all right? And like I said, it really don't matter where you get the um, sea salt from. Um, it does matter what grain it is. So you got coarse and um, fine grain. Fine grain is like the smallest and the coarse is like the, uh, the bigger crystal. So I like to use the coarse. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to ch change this over to a bigger bowl. And me, I'm just adding some chamomile to it. Um, you can add any kind of dry flowers that you like, okay? I'm just kind of mixing it around because, of course, cam chamomile has like a lot of little particles. So I just want to make sure it's all mixed in. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and add our essential oils. And you want to follow the usage rate for your essential oils, okay? It's not like fragrance. You don't just go pouring it all in there. Um, it's a little bit different, okay? So make sure you follow the usage rate for um, your particular brand. And this is the brand that I am using, okay? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and mix all of this in. I added a little bit of baking soda. I love to add baking soda to my bath salts because it's high in alkaline and it does um soften the skin as well okay all right so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to be packaging them in these clear bags okay so now for the good fun part all i'm gonna do is now look y'all i want to show y'all really quick i put my label on here already i'm doing a clear label so now i'm just gonna fill these bags up
Okay, guys, so we are finished. Now, these are oh, just about, I think about maybe four ounces of product in these bags. So what I would have to go ahead and do is I would have to go and clean them up a little bit. Um, if I want to add a little bit more salts to, I, to them, I can, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what it will look like when it's finished. Um, well, you know what? We are finished. We are at the end of this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe. I will see you guys again for the next video. All right.